Hey guys, so today is uh, kind of an impromptu video. Uh, it is about 8 o'clock at night right now. I got home from work, I don't know, 30 minutes ago. And I got a package that I was expecting tomorrow. So I was really excited. I gasped. Luke thought something was wrong with me, which was pretty great. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so I thought I'd do an unboxing. I was like, I'm so excited about this. I might as well unbox it for you guys so we can see kind of, uh, you can see what I got and then see what my first impression of it is. Let me just show you what it is. This is a Madewell box. Uh, and I got their transfer tote. So let me give you a little backstory before I open it. Uh, I use a tote every single day. Uh, I didn't always use a tote, uh, I kind of switched my bags around, but ever since I really started working on my blog, I needed to take my laptop to and from work with me every day because I work on the train, I work on my lunch hour, so I always need my laptop. So the only size bag that will fit a laptop is a tote bag. And so I had a few and they were always faux leather and like $40 and just like kind of on the cheap side because they're big bags. So if you're getting something in real leather that's a large bag, it's going to be more expensive in general. I know with like Chanel and stuff and like the designer bags, it kind of goes a different way because they have certain bags that are, you know, have a reputation or whatever. So this last bag I bought, it was that Kenneth Cole one. You might have seen it in a couple hauls ago. I got rid of it because it was literally falling apart. I had it for like maybe a month, maybe two, and it started falling apart and I was getting so pissed and I was like, why did I spend this $40 for this to fall apart in a month? So I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna just invest. And I looked around and I tried to find something that really fit my needs and I had been really loving the Madewell transfer tote for a long time but when I like was telling people about it my mom was like I don't know it doesn't have a top closure and I didn't really want one at, at this point like I wanted it to have structure but not be super structured like I didn't want one of those like super square bags I wanted to have a little give I wanted it to be a little more relaxed so my mom had mentioned that you know you're not getting into hardware you're just getting leather um, so why would you pay that much? And I, she has a point, you know, with leather bags, you want to make sure you're getting what, you know, your money's worth for such an expensive bag. And it's not even that expensive to some people who are buying Chanel's, but for me, uh, it's an expensive bag. I thought about it, um, for like a month after that. And then that other bag broke and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to spend the money and get something that I really, really want. So I got the transport tote, and it ended up being $179.55, so it's $168 before tax. I got uh, a personalization, but I like joined the Madewell Insiders Club thing, so my personalization was free and shipping was free. They just charged me tax, so that's why it's $179.55. I think that's a really great thing, because you just like join their thing and then uh, they're like programmed and then if you don't want their emails you just unsubscribe and you get your free shipping and your free personalization if you need. So uh, I guess we should just open it. I'm like a little like excited. Okay, so let me just open this. Oh my god. It's so pretty. Okay. So I ended up getting the dark cocoa color. I didn't really want black, but I also didn't want the, they also have it in a saddle. Um, black I didn't really want because I have so many black bags. And I was like, I don't really, I've just been into brown lately. I don't know, there's something about it. And I didn't want saddle because I knew it would scratch and really show. So I got dark cocoa and I got an imprint. I got a blind imprint. So they uh, give you the choice of blind imprint, um, gold or silver metallic. And I went with the blind imprint because I didn't want, really want it to be like crazy. Oh my god, it's so pretty. <laughs> this is what she looks like. So I don't know if you guys can see, but here, here's the blind imprint. It's just like really subtle. 
Um, and then, oh my gosh, it's like weighty. It's a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I tried it all in the store, but you know, I don't, couldn't really remember. And then it just goes over your arm. I kind of expected there to be like a little more space under here, but I think you could definitely fit it with like a coat. Um, yeah. It's definitely like the perfect size. My laptop will definitely fit in here. And it's just like the perfect dark cocoa color. Oh, I'm so happy. I feel like I should like throw on a jacket really fast and just like see how it goes. I mean, also just for reference, um, once you get it personalized, you cannot return it. It is not refundable. So, I mean, this is mine, but I kind of just want to see. I think it'll be okay because I definitely have room. And I think once it kind of like gives a little bit, it'll be even better. Like right, like uh, on the website, they tell you that um, it starts off like a little bit stiff, and then as you use it, it'll kind of get like more relaxed. You know, leather. It like can I say leg a couple more times? Um, with leather, it generally will kind of mold to your body. If you have a jacket, a leather jacket, it'll generally mold to your body. So I feel like with this bag, it'll kind of do the same thing. It'll kind of stretch out and kind of be more molded to my my lifestyle. Uh, I'm just really happy with this bag. I'm literally, you guys are gonna laugh, I'm literally gonna put all my stuff in it tonight and like take it to work tomorrow. Like it's my first day of school. It has like so much space in here. A little tag. And then it even has that like little interior pocket with the brand. Oh my god, it smells like leather. And there is no closure whatsoever. There's no snap, there's no um, magnet, there's no zipper, there's no nothing. So it's just the back. All right, um, I think what I might do is like in probably my next haul, because I just filmed a haul, um, I might give you guys an update on how I'm doing with this since you've seen this video and maybe so yeah, I think in the next haul I'm going to do like a little update, tell you guys how I like it and um, my final thoughts on that. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it. I've never done an unboxing before. This is a new one for me. I never had anything this exciting to unbox. So uh, if you like this video, definitely make sure you press that like button. And if you want to see more from me, make sure you don't miss anything by... Uh, pressing on that subscribe button so you don't miss my Sunday videos. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.